Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is part three of the CSS Top 50 Interview Question and Answers. If you haven't haven't checked out the part one and part two, please do so so that you can prepare well for your interview. These are the top 50 questions which are usually asked in almost all interviews that you attend, and I'm sure this will help you. If you find these tutorials helpful, useful, please do give a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Let's get started with the first question in this series. What is the property used for formatting the text in CSS? So to format uh, the text in CSS, we'll use the property white space that's used for formatting the text. List some of the pos possible values for attribute position in CSS. Or the other way of asking this question is, how do you position elements in CSS? They can also ask you, can you explain me what is the difference between fixed, absolute, relative, etc. So we'll learn all about that for now. Understand that there are five different types of attributes that can go with position. The first is static, which is what is by default. The second is inherit. The third is fixed. So when we give fixed, the position is always fixed. When you say absolute, it would take the absolute positioning from the top level parent. If nothing is given, it will take the browser's window as the top level. Explain relative uh, position. So relative means it will take, it will start calculating the width, height, all of that from the previous element. So it's relative to the previous element. So these are the five different possible values or of attributes that can go into position. Which property is used for underlining the link in CSS? So to make a text underline or remove the underline, we'll use the property text hyphen decoration. How to give a line break using span in CSS? So to give a line break using span, we can use something called display hyphen block, colon block. So this would give a line break to the element. So example is we can write span style display colon block. Can I give more than one class to an HTML element? Yes, we can give any number of classes to an HTML element. You can give something like class equal to C1 space C2 space C3. So you can give any number of classes to an element. How to add comments in CSS? To, to add a comment, we'll use slash asterisk test comment. Then finally, again asterisk slash backslash close the comment. Which property can be used for aligning the text in the document? So to align text in the document, we will use property text hyphen align and we can give attributes like left, right, center, etc. How can we set a weight cursor by CSS? So we can set a, we can set the cursor style by accessing something like style, uh, which is a property of cursor. So we in the previous episode, we have learned about all the different types of cursors that are available, like weight, crosshair, and then arrow or pointer. What do you mean by pseudo classes in CSS? So pseudo classes will allow you to identify the HTML elements. These classes are specified with colon and pseudo class and element name. For example, if you see here, I've given a colon hover. So here hover is the pseudo class. So some of the parameters that go with are uh, colon hover, colon before, colon after, uh, first child. So there are multiple pseudo classes that you can use. How to give rounded, rounded corners in CSS3? So to give rounded corners effect, we can use a property called border hyphen radius. Using that property, we can give the rounded corners in CSS3. What are, the, what are the contrasts among require and incorporate? So, okay, so we'll see this um, in our, when we come down to later other examples. List out the properties of rounded corners in CSS3. So some of the properties of rounded corners are border hyphen radius, border hyphen bottom, colon, hyphen right radius, left radius, top radius, left radius. So these are all to specify which side, which corner we want to get it rounded. 
So when we give directly border hyphen radius, it will apply to all the four corners. Alternatively, we can specify which corner by saying hyphen right, hyphen left, hyphen right radius or hyphen left radius. Which are the new backgrounds that were added in CSS3? So some of the new background properties that got added are background hyphen origin, background hyphen clip, background hyphen size. Mention the syntax for adding multiple background images in CSS3. So below is the syntax for adding multiple background images. So you can say you can define the property background hyphen image colon URL followed by the first link of the image comma URL of the second image and so on. So you can add multiple um, images in the background. What do you mean by word wrapping in CSS3? So word wrapping means breaking the long words to next line. Below is an example for that. So we are defining a class called dot word wrap test class. And here we are saying word wrap break word. So this will break by the words. How can we use transition effect in CSS3? So there are two things to be specified to create a transition effect. The first is the duration of the effect. The second is the CSS property that needs to be added along with the effect. List out the properties of transition in CSS3. Some of the properties for transition in CSS3 are transition delay, transition hyphen property, transition hyphen duration, transition hyphen timing hyphen function. So these are the four properties that you can assign for a prod transition and create um, animations in your UI screen. List out all the possible position attributes in CSS. So some of the position attributes that we can use are fixed, inherit, absolute, static, and relative. Explain opacity in CSS3. Opacity is used to hide or show an element in CSS3. So value zero means you have to hide the element. Value one means you have to show an element and we can give values between anywhere between 0 and 1. For example, if you make it 0 0.5, it will become little transparent, right? So, and then it will become opaque. So that way the values range from 0 to 1. All right, so that brings us to the end of this CSS top 50 interview question and answers. I hope you liked it. I hope you find it useful. I wish you all the best for your interview. If you have any doubts, please do contact me in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you for free. If you like the video, please like my videos and don't forget to subscribe to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much. Have fun in learning.